There you are, Stevie. I thought you were gonna miss our date altogether. I'm sorry I'm late. Traffic was brutal. You know, I could have used some of Santa's reindeer. Just fly over the stalled bus on the highway. <laughs> Besides, I wouldn't miss this for the world. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> some festive sweet and sour pork for our special Christmas Eve. Mm. I like the green and red peppers, very Christmassy. Oh. <laughs> Bit cold now though. Oh, that's okay. I'll go put this in the oven and spruce it up. I asked for some extra fortune cookies for your birthday. It's today, right? What's that? Your birthday, it's today. Yeah, don't remind me. <laughs> what, no spirit of the season? <laughs> Well, it's just, you know, birthdays. Mm. I'm not a big fan. Everyone has them. Another year, one more trip around the sun. Time passes for everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, spend some of it in traffic. I'd gladly go tripping around the sun instead. <laughs> you know, it's been years since I've been out on Christmas Eve. Thanks for the invite. Of course. It's been a long time since I've actually had company on my, on Christmas Eve. <laughs> I got you a Christmas present. I got you one too. Actually, it's kind of a birthday and Christmas present all in one. What? Is something wrong? What isn't wrong? What do you, what do you mean? See, this is why I can't stand birthdays, especially mine. Don't you get it? All my life it's been like this. I've never gotten an actual birthday present on my birthday, even for my parents. It was always one gift to cover both. Happy birthday and Merry Christmas. Yeah, but Lindy, a I just- One gift, all because of Christmas. My own birth has always been overshadowed by baby Jesus. <laughs> well, it is Jesus after all. If you're gonna be overshadowed, best to be overshadowed by the best, I guess. It's not fair. He got gold, frankincense, and myrrh when he was born. He got three presents on his birthday. Think of it this way. You get a free gift yourself to celebrate his birthday when it isn't even your day. So, it's kind of a gimme. No, it's the principle of the thing, Stevie. Everyone else who doesn't have a birthday so close to Christmas gets two presents. One for their birthday and one for Christmas. Not just one that covers both days. All of my life, I have been gypped, robbed. Lindy, do you know how that sounds? I know. I don't care. It's not fair. What, you think there should be a cutoff period around Christmas where, what, two gifts become the norm? Five days. Oh, maybe two weeks. Stevie. Look, I hoped I was getting you something very special and meaningful, and it would count for both. Why couldn't I have been born near some other holiday? My friend Stephanie was born on Halloween. Not only did she get to have cake and presents, but every year she got to dress up in these amazing costumes and haul in pillowcase loads of candy. Well, why couldn't my parents have conceived me some month other than March? February or April, I wouldn't be so screwed over, but March, damn it! Hey, it could be worse. You could be Jewish, and your birthday fall during Hanukkah, you might get only one present, just chopped up into eight little pieces and given out over eight nights. Sorry. I just thought that... Thought what? Stevie, we've been going out for what, almost a year now? Actually, since St. Patrick's Day when we met, at the Mexican restaurant, the one that celebrates every holiday like a fiesta. <laughs> yeah, well, nine months then. And I just thought we really had something. Lindy, we do. We do have something. I have never felt this way about anyone before. I knew it when I first saw you, I swear, it wasn't because of the green margaritas on St. Patrick's Day, <laughs> which were pretty frightening, by the way. <laughs> but one gift, Stevie. You got me one gift. 
You just said you didn't like birthdays. When I said I didn't like birthdays, I didn't mean I didn't like birthdays. Oh, just not getting a present for it. Right, <laughs> kind of like pass and go without the 200 bucks. Anytime that I dated or went out with someone, it was the same thing. Happy birthday, Merry Christmas. And you know, it was usually some silly little present that they got at the last minute right before our date. Even my parents were last minute shoppers on Christmas. I don't know, I just wanted someone to put in a little extra effort for me so I wouldn't feel like such an afterthought. And I thought that, you know, you were different and... No, you didn't! I... Uh, scrambling to find me a last minute one size fits all present? Is that why you were late? I wasn't scrambling to find one. I knew what I wanted to get you. Oh, really? And there was traffic. A lot of it. Oh, my God. I'm to think I thought you were different. I don't think I've ever seen this side of you, Lynn. Maybe I made a mistake. Getting one present? Yeah. Well. This is one hell of a Christmas Eve. You know, talk about the season of giving. Now I know why I don't go out for it. Stevie, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please. Um, can we just take a step back and, and start over again? You're right. I shouldn't be so selfish. Let's just exchange what we have. It's Christmas. <laughs> Who cares if you got me just the one present? Uh, it's for both, for Christmas and your birthday. Don't push it. <laughs> Here's your gift. A green margarita glass? It's to remind you of when we first met. Where'd you find this? Did you get this online? Geez, you can get anything online. No, I went down to that Mexican restaurant and I begged them to let me buy one of their glasses. I got this just for you. Really? Yeah. Wow. You know, I meant what I said about when we first met. So, I wanted to get you something very special. A teddy bear? Yeah. A teddy bear. I took a lot of time to find just the right bear for you. Oh, great. Just the right bear. What? you like it? I just thought you would have gotten me something more, um, personal. This is the most personal thing I could possibly think of. After all, we've been together nine months. Nine months equals a teddy bear. For both a birthday and a Christmas present. Oh, okay. Um, Stevie, I think we need to talk. Oh, I think my shoe is untied. You're doing that now? This is serious, and besides, you're wearing cowboy boots. I know it's serious. You didn't look closely at the bear enough. Why? It's just a teddy bear. What's with the zipper on the bear? Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Merry Christmas and happy birthday. <laughs> Will you? Yeah. <laughs> I figured, what better day? This is the best birthday Christmas gift I've ever gotten. <laughs> I, I, oh crap. The, the sweet, sweet and sour, sour pork. pork. Oh boy, maybe it's still salvageable. Maybe. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have left it in the <sighs> box. Oh, the peppers don't look quite so Christmassy. Oh, the pork looks like lumps of coal. Oh, I've ruined everything tonight, doubting you, burning the dinner that you brought. I'm sorry. Well, honey, it's okay. No, it's, it's okay. not. Yeah, I... sure. Who cares if the dinner's ruined? Hey, it's your prerogative. After all, you just got engaged. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, tell you what, get your coat, 
let's go out for Christmas Eve for your birthday. <laughs> Celebrate your new gift. <laughs> of course, I don't know where this late on Christmas Eve, but... Well, there's always Mexican. <laughs> hey, maybe I'll buy you your own glass for your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine the Christmas margaritas. <laughs>